Start in Blender by creating the mesh for the grass, so delete the default cube with the light and camera, add a plane, we're going to rotate it and move it up, scale it down and I'm going to shape this into one simple blade of grass. Now I'm going to very explain this because later when we apply wind in Unreal Engine I don't want the bottom part to move so go to vertex paint, select black and fill the whole plane with the black color. That means this is all going to move. Now select white and paint just the bottom. Also I want to gradually make the wind to go up so select gray and paint the upper part. I'm going to move the origin point to the bottom, so I can rotate it from the bottom. And now we can start making the grass mesh. After you finish the mesh and you like it, go and join all of the planes together. To make the double sided mesh, select the grass, duplicate it, go to edit mode, select all of the duplicate, go to alt n and flip. Now you just go back to object mode and join these two planes together. And to achieve good lighting in the Unreal Engine, we are going to fix the normals. So go to edit mode, select all. And to see where the normals point, go to overlays and select this, display split normals. Now before we are going to fix them, go back to object mode, select all and apply all transfer. Now go back to edit mode, select all, go to alt n and point to target. Now click and every normal is going to point to 3D cursor. Now we want them to point up, so go to the left and change the z-value to some high number. Now everything is pointing up and we have fixed the normals. The last thing we need to fix are the UVs. So split the viewport, go to UV editor and select the mesh, go to edit mode, select all and go to UV and unwrap. Now we are going to fix two things and that is the position of the UV and the rotation of the individual planes. So select UV sync selection, go to wireframe and select just the bottom vertices. So every plane with the up vertices we need to rotate. So go and deselect all of the down vertices. And now select all of the planes with the top vertices. And rotate them 180 degrees. Okay, so now we are going to fix the position of the planes. So select all of the ones and uh, move them down here on the line. Now just put them closer to the middle and scale them up. Okay, so now our mesh is ready to be exported to Unreal Engine. So just go to Export, FBX and in Geometry select the face instead of normals only and export. When you import your mesh, in the FBX import options I want you to go to the mesh and in the vertex color import option, I want you to select replace instead of ignore. In the Unreal Engine, all I created is a basic light and the landscape. 
When you drag your grass into the landscape, you can see that it may be a little bit big. So you can fix it just going back to Blender and re-importing it with the smaller version. So just go back to Blender and scale it down. And now you can re-import it. And you can see it's smaller now. Now we can go and create a new material. Make a material instance for it. Open the stylized grass and take the material instance and plug it into the mesh. Now I'm going to also disable cast shadow and save. Now let's open the material and we are going to create the base color and plug it into base color. We're gonna set the specular to zero and roughness to one. Okay, so the first change we are going to do is to make the gradient to go from the one color to the another from down to up. So let's find a linear gradient and create a second color. Now we are going to add the LARP node. And if we LARP these two colors with the gradient as an alpha, and we are going to use V gradient because we want to use the gradient from the down to top, not from the left to right. So drag the V gradient to alpha and drag it to base color. And when we do that, you can see that we have gradient, but I want to also control the gradient. So we are going to back to the material and add a multiply. Plug it to multiply and create a constant. Plug it to multiply and convert this to parameter. This is going to be gradient strength. I'm gonna set the default value to one and I'm also going to convert the parameter these two colors. Now if we plug this into the alpha and save this and open material instance, you can see that we can change the gradient but instead of getting the black color, I want to get the, this green. So let's get back into the material and add a saturate node. And if we plug this to the alpha and save this, you can see that we no longer have the black color. So I'm going to set this to 1.2 for example. Now we are going to create the variation color for this grass and we are going to need this variation texture. And we are going to create a new color for the variation color. Now we're gonna need to learn these two colors with the LARP node. And we are going to plug the gradient to the alpha. Now we are going to create another LARP and LARP these two LARPs together. And as an alpha uh, set this texture. Now plug this into the base color and we are going to have this texture applied on our grass but we want to use it as a global texture at a world position. But we can't plug this into UV because the UV is just the two dimensions U and V. We're gonna need to mask this out with the mask node and set it to only R and G. We're also gonna want to control the size of it so search for the divide node and add a constant, convert this to the parameter. And this is going to be variation texture scale. And I'm going to set the default value to 20,000. Now you can see that we have some variation in the grass and we can control it in the material instance. I'm also going to convert this color to parameter and this is going to be a color variation. So in the next step, we are going to add a wind. So search for the simple grass wind and we are going to create an fur constants and we are going to convert them over to the parameters and plug them into these outputs. And for this last constant, we are going to plug it in just like that because we are going to change this later. Now just plug this into world position offset. And now if we enable everything in the material instance and change this to one, you can see that our grass is moving and I'm going to change the parameters a little bit. And now you can see that our grass is moving, but also the bottom part is moving and that's what we are going to fix now. So go back to material. We are going to add a vertex color, which is the color that we have painted in a blender. And we are going to add an lerp and we're gonna lerp the wind with the constant. And as an alpha, we're gonna use vertex color and plug this into world position offset. And now we have our grass not moving at the bottom. So for the next step, we are going to add in wind lines and we are going to need this texture 
Now we want this texture to be applied on the whole world like this texture so we are going to just copy this and change this uh, constant, we're gonna rename it. Now we're gonna add a new color for this wind lines and we're gonna convert it to parameter. This is going to be wind line color and we are going to lerp these two colors and use the gradient as an alpha. Now we're gonna lerp these two lerps and as an alpha we're gonna use this texture. Now you can see that we have these wind waves and we're gonna make them move so go back to material and we're gonna add a panner. We're gonna apply these coordinates to the coordinates and this to the UV and now we're gonna add two constants which are gonna represent the speed of the U and speed of the V and we're gonna convert them to the parameters so we can change them later in material instance. So this is going to be speed U and speed V and we're gonna append this two and plug them into the speed. Okay so now in material instance we can change the size of the lines and we can also set the speed of the lines. And I also want these waves to be moving with the wind. I'm going to multiply this because I want to control the density of it. And I am going to plug this into additional VPO and convert this to the parameter. And that should be it for the material for now. Now I'm going to play with the settings and see what I can create. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. In the next one, I will show you how to blend this grass with the landscape using runtime virtual texture. And I will also make a video on how to make these two textures. So if this video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye bye.